Let's go behind the scenes at Dress For My Day. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. I'll share more about them later in the video. Hello ladies, welcome to today's video. This is a unique video. I seem to be saying that more often lately, but we're not doing fashion, we're not even doing beauty today. I'm really just giving you a behind the scenes view of what I do here at Dress For My Day. And so this may not be for everybody, but the fact that you showed up here tells me you're a little bit curious and I'm so glad that you are. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about what I do, why I do it, how I do it. I got some questions from some viewers and readers, some of my email subscribers, and I'm going to answer those. But I'm also just gonna kind of tell you uh, some of the things there is no typical day here at Dress For My Day, but I'm gonna give you some typical days, I guess. Let's back up to how did I ever start doing this? Because that's the main question I get is, here I am at 58 years old. I've been at my blog at dressformyday.com for four years now, a little over four years. And I've been in this YouTube space at Dress For My Day with Kay Harms for a little over two years now. So all in all, four years in this career as an influencer, if that's what you wanna call it. And I guess that's what they do call it. So the, the way I got here though is, the, let, me, let me just give you a little background. I actually have a public relations degree. That's a journalism degree from the University of Georgia. So this is my field, it really is. But I stepped out of my field early on when I had my first child back in 1990. I was a technical writer at the time for a bank and I stepped out of the workforce to be a full-time stay-at-home mom for a long time, <laughs> I guess about 20 years or so, as I raised my two kids and really got them even all the way through high school. Now, as they got into middle school and high school, I started doing some freelance work. That was a whole other thing for me. I had never freelanced, you know, magazine writing, newspaper, that sort of stuff. So I started sending out queries and I was published in a number of magazines. Now at that time though, I was really kind of approaching my career from the ministry standpoint. I had felt called into ministry shortly after graduating from college um, in 1986, and so I went to seminary and I worked on a little bit of a seminary degree and then I met my husband who of course is now a pastor. I ended up marrying him and then just helping him to get through seminary a little bit faster by working full time. So even though I felt called into ministry and I have been living and working and in ministry all these years, it's never been like a full time ministry job. Instead, I have been a pastor's wife and done all the things that that entails. I've taught women's Bible studies in the church. I've even written women's Bible studies. And then as my kids were in middle school, high school years, I started writing for Christian publications, started writing magazine articles and devotionals in some very popular Christian uh, devotional guides, in fact. Um, I worked, I wrote some things for a journey devotional guide. You may have heard of it or used it. And also for Charles Stanley's In Touch magazine. So when I, I did that, I had a, a blog. I had a website called kharms.com. In fact, it's still there, but I have not posted anything at kharms.com now in about three years, I think. Um, there I did devotional type blog posts and really just encouraged women inspirationally, biblically, spiritually. And I also, that's where, that was like the headquarters for my speaking ministry. I did a lot of speaking all over the country and in, even around the world. I've been to Canada several times and even to Okinawa, Japan, speaking to women's groups. So that was the ministry years. And I, I you know, I made a little money, basically just kind of kept myself going. But as my kids finished college and I felt like it was time for me to start really bringing home a paycheck <laughs> and contributing at least to mine and my husband's retirement, if nothing else, because I really hadn't contributed that kind of a salary in all those years, and I knew he would like that. But you know what happens is when you've been out of the workforce that long, I just really did not want anybody to be the boss of me. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Like, 
I wanted to work for myself. I had been working my, for myself as that kind of freelance contract worker uh, for those publications and everything, and I wanted to keep that up. So I honestly, I began to pray, Lord, give me what I'm supposed to do where I can make some money, where I can make a living, make a real salary, but also, Lord, I would like it if I could be my own boss. And he just kind of began to open some doors and put some thoughts in my head. My husband got a camera about that time. He had never had like a, you know, a good camera. And he bought a camera because we lived in Arizona and he wanted to start taking landscape photographs. Well, I hijacked that idea. <laughs> And I said, honey, if I started a fashion blog, would you be willing to use your camera to take pictures of me and my outfits? Now, I think he thought maybe a few pictures each month, but we, of course, then began to, he said yes. And so in March of 2018, we started taking photographs um, probably about once a week. And, and the way we do photographs for the blog and for here occasionally is we batch them. So we will go do a photo shoot and shoot anywhere, I'd say from three, sometimes as much as eight outfits. Now that's a really hard thing, we do eight outfits, but it happens. The, how I came into the fashion blogging thing though was I, I think I knew that I didn't really wanna monetize my kharms.com blog. It's still there, like I said, if you want some good devotional reading, go there and read that. It's not monetized other than I sell my books there and you might be interested in those. But I wanted a blog that I could monetize that I could really make some money off of. So at Dress For My Day, of course, the way I make an income is through ads. I do have ads on there. And that's a big chunk of my income, really. And then also, of course, I work with affiliate programs. Those are programs, predominantly I work with ShopStyle, I work with LTK, uh, which used to be RewardStyle. I also work with ShareASale. I work with AvantLink. There's just several of these affiliate programs where you, they, you hook up with them and then you link things. You can link things all the way from Hotels.com to, you know, products at Talbot's, products at Nordstrom, products at Belk and Dillard's and, you know, you name it. I, you know, Home Depot. <laughs> I can link to all sorts of things. And then when, when you, my reader, my viewer, shops through those links, I make a small commission. It's just like if I were working in that store and I was helping you, I would make a, I make a small commission at no cost to you or the person who purchases, but it's just really the store is paying for our services because these days, influencers bring as much income to stores as their advertising does. What I really do is called inbound marketing. And through inbound marketing, retailers and services like hotels.com or whatever are able to use influencers who are sharing their real life opinions and their preferences and the things they love with enthusiasm and with knowledge and with experience like we're a friend and that is really much the way I look at it. So it's really important to me because I, that's a good chunk of my business that you know your trust, my integrity is at the core of everything I do. So I never, ever, ever recommend anything that first of all, I've tried it and I didn't like it or I tried it and it doesn't fit good or it's itchy or it's bothersome. I don't, ever, I don't ever share those. I don't even put those on and show them to you. I just send them back. <laughs> and then I also try to only recommend things that I actually have tried on. Now, sometimes I will, because people ask for a more economical option or another option or an option in warm colors as opposed to cool colors or whatever, I will recommend things that, I, that are at reputable stores or with reputable brands that I have used before. So when I recommend something, when I give you a link to something, I'm not just giving you a link all willy nilly. <laughs> I'm giving you a link that I stand behind and I want you to be able to trust my recommendations. And so that's how that whole affiliate thing works. It really is important to me, and I think it is to most influencers, that you be able to trust what we say about the products that we promote or that we share. Another way that I have monetized what I do, of course, is I have sponsors. And that's here at my YouTube channel. I, of course, have sponsors, like today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, and I'm very thankful for that. And then occasionally at my blog, I also do sponsored 
uh, blog posts. But what you need to know about sponsors too is, is that I only take a small percentage of the sponsors that people ask me to do. So every morning, just about every morning, the first thing I do when I'm going through my emails is I delete, 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 delete about a dozen or so um, quite, uh, queries, I guess, of people who have reached out and asked me to take them on as a sponsor. They have to sponsor a video or they wanna sponsor something on Instagram or they wanna sponsor blog posts. If it doesn't resonate with me, if I don't feel like it would resonate with you, if I feel like it's a brand or a retailer um, or a company that I can't stand behind and that, or that I can't stand with or that I couldn't in good conscience recommend to you, I say no. So I only take on sponsors that I really feel good about. Now, when I'm working with a sponsor, for the most part here on YouTube, they generally give me carte blanche, like I can have any kind of video and they simply want to sponsor it and uh, like an advertiser on a TV show, right? And I do need to take the time then to share uh, from my experience with them and my, my true opinions, but also of course something that's gonna put them in a good light uh, at the time in the video that they've asked for. But so that's how it works here at U uh, YouTube. But at my blog, of course, when I have a sponsor, there's a whole lot more involved. Like there's all these what we call deliverables. <laughs> and so I have to get them the blog post. I have to post on Instagram and on Facebook and on Pinterest and Instagram stories and all those sorts of things. And sometimes I even have to cre create like LTK looks or shop style looks. Um, with all of that. So they get all of that stuff. And with all of my sponsors, I have to turn in everything anywhere from a week in advance to at least a few days in advance so that they can approve it. So what that means is, is that yes, I work on a content calendar. One of the questions I got was, do you work with a content calendar? How do you do it? What, you know, what, what all goes into putting that together? Content is so important to me because to me, my content on my content calendar is not just filling up space or filling up days of the week <laughs> with something to share. And it's not about just getting you there so that my ad money comes in, right? To me, it's about serving you. I, I was taught as I researched for this job that I need to serve, 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 and then ask. So like if I'm gonna ask you to, for instance, do something with our sponsor later on today in this video, or if I'm gonna ask you to shop through my widget at the blog, first, I need to serve you. I need to give you information that is valuable to you. I need to give you, perhaps if I'm showing an outfit, I need to tell you how it feels, how I would wear it, where I would wear it, how it fits you know, all those sorts of things. On other days when it's not an outfit, I want to serve you by giving you styling tips or tips for shopping and tips for um, navigating the trends. I truly want to serve you. And that leads to another question. Somebody asked, how did you go about building um, your reader base or your viewer base? Well, to me, for one key is, I don't think of you as a viewer base or a reader base or readers or viewers even. I think of you as my community. And I think most influencers do. I'm not saying that I'm unique in that, but I really do uh, have focused on building a community. And to me, there's been several things that have been important to do that um, as I've been building this business that is also a community. So one thing is I feel like I need to be very authentic. I need to just be myself. And I guess after years of speaking, doing public speaking, um, I'm pretty good at that. So I'm pretty good at you, what, what you see here is who I really am. <laughs> and I think even my writing, because I am a trained writer and I've been writing all my life, I feel like even in my writing at my blog, as I write, that's who you're getting. In fact, my best friends from like middle school and high school, they tell me that when they read my blog post, they hear my voice. So that's good to me. That tells me that I'm being authentic. So I want you to know that. I try to be authentic uh, and really show up. But another thing I do is I do try to serve. That's the, that's the second thing. And then the third thing is, is I want to be consistent. So just like if you were in a friendship and you had a daily 
a date to get together and go for a walk, or you had a weekly um, engagement to go out to coffee with that friend, that friendship's going to build because you're both committed to that time together. And so I want to be that way here too. Like every Wednesday, I want to show up and I want to show up on time and I want to show up with something to give you. And at my blog, I post blog posts Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And it's important to me that I have those out at least by noon, <laughs> if not earlier, and that they're they're meaty, they're good, there's a variety, right? There, some of them are light, some of them are deeper, but that I'm showing up authentic, giving you something, committed, consistent uh, on a daily basis. So really, that's how I've grown my platform now. I would be amiss to forget that there have been so many women who have helped me to grow this community because here at YouTube, Robin at Faith and Flower was so instrumental at, at just really kicking me off here. I mean, I was just kind of trudging along and she invited me to collaborate with her. Robin has a homemaking channel. She is in her 50s also and yeah, she lives in Texas and that collaboration just really helped me so much. Probably some of you I met through Robin. I've also of course done them with Marie Anne LeCour. I've done them with Angela Michelle, um, you know, Beth Jalali. Um, I think there's others too. Uh, I've done it on my blog. I've done them with uh, Empty Nest Bless, Susie there, and JoLynn Shane, and Cindy Spivey. Just, you know, so many that have been just so helpful. And those women are just largely to thank for helping me to build this community. So in a typical day, I mean, every day is so different, really, because there's, as you can imagine, with different platforms, as we call them, you know, one platform is my blog, another platform is here at YouTube, another platform is Facebook, and then I have a private Facebook group there too, which I honestly, I sadly, sadly neglect. And then I also, of course, have Instagram. On Instagram, there's Instagram stories and there's Instagram posts. And so honestly, I, I know hope, I think some of these younger gals managed to do all of it. <laughs> I really struggle. I really struggle to get all of those bases touched every day. It is hard. Um, it's hard to be answering comments here and at the same time answering comments on that day's blog post and also engaging on Instagram and also getting into my private Facebook group and pinning a little bit on Pinterest. There's that too. And then I have a daily email that goes out. And that to me is like the priority because those ladies, and I hope that some of you too, have signed up for that email. And so I try to supply a little something extra, whether it's links to a sale that I notice with the specific things that I like at that sale, or it's just links to my previous blog post and YouTube video, um, maybe some answers to some questions, some tips and things. But those are all touch points that I need to make on any given day, and I don't, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't. It's hard, I'm 58. <laughs> so I do have one assistant. My daughter right now is a part-time assistant. And then of course my husband has partnered with me in this. He does all my videography, he does my photography, and he also is helping me with um, project management. So he's really starting to help me with my contracts and my deliverables and my calendaring and all those sorts of things. So it is a team effort, but you think about it though, if I'm the creator of the content, then still a lot of it falls on me. So it's, it's just a lot to juggle. So some days are filled with just being at the computer all day and I'm really just a slave to that desk. <laughs> and I'm at the desk writing blog posts or creating Instagram posts or um, Facebook posts or I am uh, creating graphics to go on a blog post or on Instagram or into the LTK shopping app, those sorts of things. Sometimes I am just battling technical issues. <laughs> I have, did I say that with enough venom? Technical issues. <laughs> They are the bane 
of my job. And, and, and any influencer would say the same thing. I just hate those problems. But some days I spend just really drained just dealing with those things. And you can imagine, I mean, at my age, it's, sometimes it's hard to even wrap my brain around all the advances and the changes in the technology of what I'm doing. So there's just keeping up even. And in other days I am editing a video. I usually edit these videos on Tuesday, yeah. And that is anywhere from a, I would say a six hour to a 10 hour job, depending on how involved the video is. And you can kind of watch these videos and see how involved they are. And if you see one that's real involved, just think to yourself, it took her 10 hours. <laughs> to edit that thing and that's after shooting it but so some days are really just editing videos um, you know and then there's other days where I do things like I have to get out and go shopping for a collaboration I'm, the other day I spent I think three and a half to four hours at Kohl's shopping for one blog post that I will be um, taking pictures for this next week and it, it's hard because, you know, you have a certain direction you want to go in. You're not just completely familiar with all the clothes there. You have to put together things pretty quickly with accessories and everything from that one store. And um, it's, it's just hard. So those usually it takes me, I would say, a good, um, even if I'm shopping online or if I'm shopping in the store, I would say it takes me anywhere from two to four hours just to pick out outfits and accessorize them for the sponsored blog post. And the same thing for my YouTube um, videos when I am trying to show you outfits. It, it's, a, it's a good half day job just putting those outfits together, accessorizing everything, and make sure the shoes are there and everything's all lined up to go on, um, on video day. We video in batches. We, we do a usually three, I'd say two to three videos a day, but then that includes all the outfit modeling and any of this other B-roll footage that you see. Um, so it's, it's also usually a half day. Let me tell y'all a sweet little thing though. Uh, we started, when we first started this video channel, um, I guess the first day we did it, I was so exhausted. We got through, my husband cleaned up all his stuff here. You, you see all the stuff he's got going on. I mean, it takes him a good hour or two, I don't know, to, to set this up. And then when I'm done, I just leave my mess. Usually I go collapse and he cleans off his stuff up. And then he always goes out and gets us a pizza. <laughs> Now, tonight, I'm not going to let him get, a, get us a pizza because I have got to lose some weight, but he, he always gets us a pizza and he tells me to go sit down and he serves me. He fixes everything on the plate for me and he serves me and he lets me put my feet up. That's so sweet and I so appreciate it. So this really is a team effort. Other typical days though, you know, the truth is some days you have to get out and live. Like if I don't get out and live a little bit, then I don't have anything to post on Instagram or I can't say I've been anywhere and I wore anything. <laughs> About usually, I try every Friday. I'll go through these little seasons where I don't do this every Friday, but most Fridays at my blog, I post a blog post called How I Really Dress for My Day or something like that. And those are my daily outfits. And what happens sometimes is I don't have any real daily outfits. Even though this is called Dress for My Day, sometimes getting dressed for my day is just putting on a different pair of pajamas <laughs> or a different, you know, like loungewear outfit because I'm just at my desk here in our house all day long so I do try to get out and live a little and so I do you know during the week I get out and uh, maybe go out, go out to lunch with a friend or something or I'll go take some returns or just do a little shopping uh, really work type shopping I don't really enjoy shopping so much anymore but work type shopping for a blog post or something or I'll get out and run some errands and uh, or and James and I will get out and go to a movie we've, we've been doing more movies lately and doing that once a week and we try to get out for a little date, a little you know, dinner or lunch out or something and explore a little bit of Ohio occasionally. So we are able to, I say all that because we're able to work all that into our week because we are flexible and we do run our own business here. And it is very gratifying in that way that we can weave our business in with our personal life and we can shoot pictures when we're out and enjoying Ohio though and we go on vacation, we tend to still shoot pictures and still shoot video too. But no matter what the day brings, whether it is a day in my office writing a blog post or we're videoing here in our, what we call our morning room is where, we're, where we video or downstairs in our studio too. We do have a studio and we video there sometimes too. 
do. So no matter what the day holds, I tell you what is always consistent. And I mentioned this in this particular video today because I honestly could not do this job if I didn't do this. And that is, is that every morning uh, before James and I even really see each other, once I get out of bed and, and go our, kind of go our separate ways, I come here to our morning room, I fix me some coffee, and I sit down and I read the Bible and I read a devotional thought. Uh, right now I'm reading one by Charles Stanley. And that sets the tone for my day. And I always just sit and I'm just quiet for a little while before the Lord and I listen. I pray for my family and I pray for my friends, but I also really do pray for my work. And I pray for how I communicate with you. And I, com I pray too for how I hear you because I'll be honest, sometimes pretty, you know, I'd say not daily, but at least weekly, I do get hurtful comments, hurtful emails, <laughs> those sorts of things too. And yet I wanna be able to respond to those graciously also or not respond at all. <laughs> and so I do, I do spend time in prayer and in Bible reading and in biblical meditation um, every morning, every morning without fail. And, you know, occasionally I'll make the mistake of going into my office and at least just sending out my email, writing out my email before I have done that, before I've paused to have time with the Lord. And without fail, I mess up something <laughs> when I do that. I put the wrong link in there, or I just say the wrong things, or I just, it's just not good. It is not good for me to have this platform and to speak out into the world if I haven't first heard from the Lord and allowed him to speak to me. So I don't know what you do. I don't know what your day is like. I don't know if you're retired, if you're working, if you were a blogger and maybe, or a YouTuber, maybe that's why you're interested in watching this, or I don't know what you do, but I do, I do know that you have a voice, that you contribute, you serve, you speak into your world. And I encourage you to begin your day also by reading God's word, and praying and listening to him because it certainly makes a difference. I think it is so important that I do that each morning before I talk to you. But I do wanna to mention too, that the most rewarding thing about this job, the absolutely most rewarding thing is I started out, to be real honest, I started out doing this to earn a paycheck. I just did because I mean, that's a valid thing to do, right? You've probably earned a paycheck in your life too. So I wanted to earn a paycheck, but as time went on, uh, pretty quickly, I began to realize that I was communicating to an audience that really needed some encouragement and needed some information and uh, needed a little direction. And that is women over 50. Most of us in our, in our 50s, our, our kids are grown and gone. Maybe we are winding our careers down or we are even retired. Uh, our bodies are changing and life is changing. You know, maybe our, our parents are aging or we're even losing our parents. Things are changing with our adult kids. And life gets hard, we begin to feel a little invisible. Maybe we've lost our sense of style as we've been raising those kids and making sacrifices for them or we've been out of the workplace and we're coming back in. Life is so full of change and we can, be, we can begin to feel very um, invisible but also very um, inept. Like we just begin to feel like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore, or I'm losing, I'm losing it. <laughs> and so I think we really need some encouragement. And I began to realize that I have a platform here where I can share with you some encouragement, some wisdom, some vital information to set you on the right path and to get you going again. And that brings me such joy. So I take that as a big responsibility and I love it, love it, love it when I receive emails and comments from women telling me that I have done that in their life. You get to read the comments below the video here. And if you visit my blog, there's usually several comments after most of my blog posts. And in those comments, I do hear from you that uh, what I do here makes a difference. And a lot of you are very grateful and you're thankful and you're complimentary and you're encouraging there. But what you don't know is that almost on a daily basis, I get emails from you, from women who tell me that I made such a big difference in how they felt at their son's wedding, or they went on a business trip with their husband and they felt polished and competent and appropriately dressed the entire time they were there, or how they've completely changed out their wardrobe and now it reflects them instead of you know somebody they were trying to be. And I get those emails daily. And that is so 
it is humbling and it is gratifying and it is encouraging. It keeps me going. It pushes me forward and it makes me take this very seriously. So I do, I love what I'm doing. It wears me out most days. <laughs> By the end of the day, I'm exhausted, but I absolutely love what I'm doing because I feel like I'm making a real impact in women's lives and I love that. Yes, it's a business, it's very much a business and we have, my husband and I have to treat it like a business. Um, for instance, we have invested, uh, he tells me over $5,000 in just the equipment right here in this room right now as I'm videotaping. There's more equipment downstairs in the basement where we have a studio. He has cameras that he takes out uh, doing photo shoots with me and, and equipment there. And of course I have equipment in my office for editing videos and for my blog and just my office furniture and just so many things. So we've invested a lot in this because we think you're worth it and we want you to have quality uh, packaging for what I do. It, that's really important to us. I, we do think that one of the ways that we have been able to build this community also is through providing quality, not just in the information that I give you in blog posts and YouTube, but also in the channel through which it comes, through the lighting and the sound and the editing that I'm able to do with the videos and the photographs that my husband takes and develops for us. So. That's really, really important. So yes, at this point, I have no qualms with telling you that after the first two years, I began to earn a paycheck. <laughs> uh, it took that long, I would say a good two years to start really uh, turning you know, a profit. So I was keeping myself going. We were able to buy the equipment. We were able to you know, have a zero at balance, right, at two years. But then at, after two years, as I began to get more sponsorships, as um, you know, my base grew, my, my, my uh, reader, viewer, community base grew, um, then I've been able to actually make a profit and earn a paycheck. And that's, that's all it is. And that's, I guess that's what I wanna maybe wrap it up with is that, um, yes, I do earn money here, <laughs> but that's not a bad thing, right? This is my livelihood. This is our livelihood, actually. We, this is how we pay the electric bill and our grocery bill and our gas for our car and everything. This is our livelihood. We absolutely love doing it. So it's a joy and it's fun. My husband and I get to do it together. And of course my daughter contributes a little bit, but it is our job. So I want you to know that I do see this as a community. I value you. I pray for you each morning. I pray for how I approach you and how I communicate with you but we are grateful also that the Lord has blessed us with this business that we are able to connect with you through and also able to take care of our needs and contribute to that retirement <laughs> that I wanted to contribute to. So that's all a good thing. So today's video has been sponsored by Squarespace, which is so fitting because they provide beautiful, powerful platforms for you to create your own website. And so if you, you know, maybe you're interested in doing something very similar to what I do, whether you want to be a style blogger, or maybe you just want to have a blog or a website to share photographs or diary entries or your travel with family and friends, Squarespace is a great place to start. There you can build a community of your own and you can communicate with that community through their comments, through your blog post, you can send email communications and leverage audience insights. You can also connect with your audience and generate revenue. So you could have a business like I do through using things like their gated members only content. And it's all on one easy to use platform. Extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with their Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship items across the globe. You can also display posts from your social profiles on your website. So like your Instagram posts can then show up on your website. So things like that are really cool and they help you to build 
that audience and build that community. So if you're interested in having a website like I do, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash kharms to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So if you've ever thought about having a website for any of those reasons, now is a good time to do that. So thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and thank you for staying with me <laughs> through this long video, but also for being a part of this community because I really do appreciate and I treasure you. Thanks for being here today, ladies. Have a great week.